With digital art on the rise, we've been seeing an increase in manufacturers and products for driving tablets and gadgets as well. As someone who could never afford the top category art supplies and tools, I'm always on the lookout to see what affordable alternatives I can recommend to young artists. In today's video, I review a brand new contender on the market, the Franzi Ruben standalone drawing tablet. Welcome to the Saigami Project, my name is Sunny and I'm a published freelance comic creator. Thank you to Franzi, Franzi, I'm not sure about the name, I'm sorry about that, for sending me this tablet for review. And before we'll start, I just state that this is not a sponsored review, all opinions are my own based on my experience of using the tablet for about a week. Alrighty, fresh out of the box, let's see what we have here. We've got a Android 11 tablet with a 10 inch HD IPS screen, 64 gigs of storage and 4 gigs of RAM. A battery power stylus with pressure sensitivity of 1024 levels. A protective case that can also be used as a stand. A charging cable and adapter. A smudge guard glove that actually fits my smaller hand comfortably. And a one year warranty card and user manuals. All this comes at a price of 239 US dollars and is all you need to get started on digital art whenever, wherever. As the name suggests, this is an actual standalone tablet, similar to an iPad, so you won't need any computers or stationary power sources to work with it, which is definitely one of the biggest pluses here. If you're still in school or travel a lot or just want to create digital art on the go or on the comfort of your bed, tablets like this are super convenient and comfortable to work with. But how well does this tablet work? Let's take a closer look at what we have here from an artist's perspective. Software. The tablet comes with some pre-installed driving apps, but you can also get your software of choices from the Play Store, as there is now a nice range of driving apps for Android. To my surprise, Clip Studio Paint is also available for this device and runs perfectly. In my opinion, CSP is hands down the best software for driving on the market, especially for comics, so having it on the Frunzi Rubens tab immediately made this review process much easier for me. Note, Clip Studio has a monthly subscription free, but you can get some free trials to see if it's for you. There are also other great free apps available for this tablet, like Medibank, Krita, Concept, Canvas, Painter, and so on. You have 4 gigs of RAM to work with, so you'll be able to get some decent performance here, but I also wouldn't push it too far with enormous file sizes or going nuts with 3D models in Clip Studio. You also have 64 gigs of built-in storage that you can extend with another 120H, which should be plenty for your driving needs. The display. We have a 10 inch HD IPS display plus bezels, which is a decent size to work with. As someone who's used to the Galaxy Tab's AMOLED display, this one feels a bit grainy and with duller colors, but it's also unfair to compare a budget tablet to the best display currently on the market. For the price category, the Rubens tab has a pretty standard screen, but if you're working on a high resolution artwork, I definitely recommend fiddling around with line stabilization to avoid pixelation. The screen is not laminated, so whenever you're drawing on it, there's gonna be a gap between the tip of your pen and your cursor. Nowadays, more and more drawing tablets tend to reduce this gap to provide a more natural drawing experience, but also remember that you can still buy Wacom tablets that will have the same gap and glassy feel. The tablet comes with a pre-installed screen protector, which is always nice, especially if you intend to draw a lot on your screen and want to avoid scratches, but it also can make the tip of your pen feel more plasticky against the screen. I honestly would recommend getting a paper textured screen protector to make the experience better, but it's also highly up to personal preferences. The pen. The Rubens Tabs pen is a sleek, heavy battery powered stylus. The box comes with two batteries, so Franzi got you covered for the first little while, but in the long run, you might want to look into getting rechargeable batteries for your pen. The stylus has 1024 levels of pressure sensitivity, which might sound low compared to the market standard 8192 or 4096, but it still gives you a decent enough control over your line weight. Additionally, apps like Clip Studio allow you to adjust your line stability and pressure control, so a bit of playing around in the settings can help you make more out of this stat too. The line quality is okay too, there's no shoelacing or weird blotches, but it isn't perfect either. There's a bit of wobbliness here and there, especially for slower lines, and driving cursor is wonky at times too, so I definitely needed to adjust my line stabilization and smoothing. But also know that I'm used to professional equipment. If you're new to digital art, this might be less noticeable. The reaction time of the stylus was snappier than I expected. I got a quick response whenever the tip of the pen touched the screen, even with lighter pressure. The latency varies in different apps. 
In Clip Studio, there's definitely a lag. It's noticeable, but also isn't terrible once you get used to it. I got waivers latency in other tablets before, so given the price category here, it's not that bad at all. Touch and palm rejection. Another nice feature for driving is touch control, which is hands down one of my favorite things when it comes to driving on touch enabled tablets. You can use your fingers to zoom in or out, rotate the canvas, choose tools, or tap for undo and other commands. This function makes driving on tablets more intuitive and in my opinion easier and more natural than driving with shortcut keys. The palm rejection is also pretty good here. Even if you're driving without the glove on, it was very rare that my palm got registered on the screen. It dragged or rotated the screen a few times, but once you wear the issued smudge guard, this problem was not there anymore. My hand also didn't leave any random pen lines or blotches on the screen, so that was a pleasant experience. Mind you, sometimes touching commands is a bit slow, so this might all be due to delayed response rather than a superior palm rejection technology, but regardless, it works in favor of an artist's needs. Verdict This is a neat little tablet that I know I would have loved when I was starting out with digital art and I was struggling with non-display tablets. The fact that you can take this with you anywhere and have access to premium apps is great, and with the price in mind, it's a pretty good deal. Is it a great driving experience? It's decent. If you're someone who's looking for great line control and accuracy, you might be better off with a driving monitor, as their smaller model starts around this price category, or there are the non-display driving tablets if that's your jam. However, remember that you would also need a PC for all those. However, if you're someone who's looking for a more flexible and easy option, the freedom to draw wherever, whenever, this has that going on. There definitely are better tablets on the market, but unless you got lucky with refurbished models, the price Frenzy has here will be pretty hard to beat. Who do I recommend this tablet for? I think it's a great deal for beginner artists looking for a budget alternative, and for creatives just wanting to dab into digital doodling or coloring. The tablet is nice and sturdy, so it could be a great and safe fit for kids too. It can also be a decent on-the-go driving alternative. I know many artists, myself included, who have their pro set up with a PC, but keep a standalone driving tablet as well in case inspiration strikes while they're not at home or do smaller works like edits, fixes and so on. The fact that this tablet runs Clip Studio means you can sync and access your files even easier, so this can be a neat little extension for your studio. It also could be a good fit for students, as apart from drawing, you can use it for note-taking, ebooks, zoom calls, games, whatever kids these days use tablet for. Summing things up, this can be an affordable starter tablet for folks looking for digital creative hobbies, young aspiring artists, and kids wanting to explore digital drawing without the restrictions of PC settings. If you think this tablet is a good fit for you or your friends and loved ones, you can find the links to purchase in the video description below. If you're using my links, I may earn a little percentage. It costs you no extra, but it's a nice alternative way to support this channel and my works while you're getting the goodies for yourself. If you're unsure or have further questions regarding this tablet, just put them in the comment section below and I will be happy to answer them based on my experiences. I hope you find this review useful, and don't forget that I have my book Saigami Volume 1 coming out in bookstores on June 7th, and pre-orders can support my work tremendously. You can find links to that, my social media, and other content that might interest you in my video description box below. Thank you very much for sticking till the end, and I will be back with another video very soon. Stay safe and keep on making art that makes you happy. Bye!